Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to enter data into R. In particular, this is to help you prepare for your poster projects that, you'll be, that you will be doing at the end of the semester. And given that we've given you the option to collect your own data, should that be the path you choose, you're going to need a way to put it into R. Because doing statistical analysis by hand is inefficient and frankly very difficult. And given that we've given you all these skills in R, why wouldn't you want to use them? So anyways, to do this in R, um, and you can do this and go ahead and have R Commander open, you'll want to enter a line of code into the script window of R Commander. And so to do this, we're actually going to pull up a data spreadsheet. And so you can do all your entry from there. And so to do this, you're going to want to use the data entry function. So data.entry. And to pull up the spreadsheet, you have to at least have a little bit of data so we can create some one cell of very fake data and you can actually copy this character for character to pull this up in your window so we do this and hit submit and what comes up is the R data editor so to do this we can actually just click on stuff and change it so if we click on the variable names at the top we can change the variable names. So say we want to do sex and we'll change it to character and we can make this one race and this can also be a character variable and we'll change this one to numeric. So, be fair. so here we can enter say for example we collected sex to be zero if you're a male and one if you're a female. So you put in zero there, one, and so on and so forth. And you can just type in whatever you want for each observation. And say for race, since we specified this as a character string, we can type in a character. So we have black and white, Hispanic, and we can type whatever we want. And the coolest thing about this is whenever we close out of the data editor, we should have all of our data sitting somewhere ready to be used. So we can look at sex and we get our string of data back. And so this is all you need to do to input data into R. And so we can do our statistical analyses that we have learned and will learn throughout the rest of the semester. So this is the way that you should put in your own data if you choose to do that in your project.